global warming. I'm sure you've heard of it. You see it everywhere you go, everywhere you look, in everything you eat, and in everything you read. Everyone around the world is affected by it, from your town to a small village in Bangladesh. Sometimes we just forget about it, and that happens a lot. One of the many byproducts of global warming is sea level rise. Now, what is sea level rise exactly? Well, it's pretty self explanatory rising sea levels. Now, modern day sea level rise really didn't even begin until the late 1800s, mostly due to fossil fuels in the atmosphere from the Industrial Revolution. And it seems as though we just didn't learn our lesson early enough. After all, sea levels are still rising. But this video isn't a history lesson. So let's talk about how this all affects Cape Ann. So, why Cape Ann? Well, it all comes down to geography. After all, we are on the coast. We have beaches, we have lighthouses, and we have beautiful homes. And if you love all of that as much as I do, then we need to protect our home from sea rise. Now I want to use Long Beach as an example here to show you how drastic the effects could be in the coming years. If you live in Cape Ann like myself, you know how rough nor'easters and bad storms in general can be for our beaches. Take a look at these pictures of the damage caused by a winter storm to the Long Beach sea wall. This is only the beginning. In the following years, don't be surprised if waves start taking out homes along Long Beach and in areas like Essex. And these storms are costing you lots of money as well. So, the question is, what can Cape Ann do to help prepare for further sea rise? Because it's too late to prevent sea rise. Our only option is to prepare. As far as local government goes, there are three main ways governments could prepare. First is green infrastructure, a cost-effective and sustainable flood management approach that gathers and removes or holds water at its source, for example marshes. Next is grey infrastructure, which is the use of concrete or steel structures to control flooding which Long Beach is a great example of. These engineered structures are costly, take time to build and require regular maintenance. And the third option is resilience measures, which are community-wide non-structural strategies that help people bounce back more quickly after floods. Now combining all three and using them practically across our coasts, we would be much better off than waiting for the inevitable. As we move on with our lives, we tend not to care too much about global warming but no matter where you go on Earth, you will be affected by it. It is something that us as humans need to prepare for instead of pretending that it doesn't exist. Now sure, after this short video, you will probably go back to doing your normal everyday routine. But I just want you to keep one thing in mind. Words are meaningless. Go take action. Thank <laughs> you.